Hey guys, Diver Down here. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about UV lights and filtration. We're going to try to do a little color correction. Uh, we're going to use this 50 LED, 395 nanometer light on the left. We're going to compare it to a 365 nanometer 3 LED UV light on the right, the Unique Fire. And we're going to splash that light onto a Uper light here. Basically, it's a cyanite rock, rich in fluorescent soda light. Then we're going to add this filter to try and filter out some undesirable color. Uh, basically, this filter will cut out visible light. This one's two millimeters thick. And so let's go ahead and turn off the lights here. And I'll start with the 50 LED light here. As you can see, everything's kind of purple. It's bluish. It's producing a lot of visible light, and it doesn't really show the orange that we've come to associate with Uperlites, or again, cyanite rock, rich in fluorescent soda light. So I'm going to add the filter and try to cut out some of the visible light, but as you can see, this flashlight does not put out enough of the desirable wavelength. It doesn't put out enough of the desirable light. Um, for us to, you know, even when filtered, see that orange. So now you use your 365 nanometer light and it does a much better job. It's going to look better when you uh, go hunt for them, but when you want to take pictures of them, pow, look at that. Much better with the filter without and with this ZW B2 filter. So that's how I take all my photos, all my videos. I use, uh, I have a couple of filters on my flashlights and I use the correct LED flashlight, not one of these. I mean, if you're going to go hunting for Uper Lights game, you're not going to want to get one of these cheap lights. And I'll show you another really good example in a moment why these are, are quite undesirable, actually. Um, so with the filter, it still doesn't put out enough of the correct wavelength to make the Uper Light pop. So um, I highly recommend, you know, a unique fire or Eric Rintemacki really likes the Convoy S2, S plus uh, 2. Both are really good UV lights. And I'm going to show you a clip that I took a little while back. And this is a, another good example why you want to get a better light. When you look on the beach, a lot of the rocks look just purple. Look at the one in the lower right hand corner, for example. So you can tell the, the ones that are orange, but look at the green one. You cannot see that color. I mean, I really like that. It's, it's not very common at all, but that does not come out when you use the cheaper light. So here I have an example of the, uh, one of my spheres with and without the filter. Now, uh, I have two here, one on the left, one on the right. The one on the left has a filter, the one on the right doesn't. So when I add the filter, it becomes much more uh, obvious. So uh, I guess if this helps guys, you go ahead and subscribe to my channel, uh, hit that notification bell, and please leave me some comments down below if there's any other questions you have or, or if there's something you wanna see as far as these videos are concerned. Uh, go ahead and leave me a message. Uh, thanks for watching.